welcome to the Witch's Studio. Today we are in the book nook because we are going to be talking about a really great book that just came out recently. It came out on my birthday. I'm talking about Psychic Witch by Matt Oren. A metaphysical guide to meditation, magic, and manifestation have been seeing this book on Instagram. First of all, I think it's important to know who our witchy writers are. This is an author that you can definitely find out there on social media. Matt Oren is a witch, professional psychic, and occult teacher based in New England. He is an initiate of Black Rose Witchcraft, the Cabot tradition of witchcraft, and the Temple of Witchcraft. He is currently a high priest in the Sacred Fires tradition of witchcraft. Matt has had the honor and privilege of studying under Christopher Penzak, Lori Cabot, Devin Hunter, Storm Fairy Wolf, Chaz Bogan, Jason Miller, and other prominent witchcraft teachers and elders. He runs the blog for Puck's Sake on Pathios Pagan, is a content creator for Modern Witch, writes a column in Witches and Pagans magazine entitled Extrasensory Witchcraft, and writes a column in Horns magazine. Matt has won several awards. He has had the honor of helping thousands of people throughout the world gain clarity through his skills of psychic ability and tarot reading over the last decade. Uh, you can find more about him and his work at mattoren.com. I will put the link below. And you can find him haunting the streets of Salem during the season of Samhain. This is a guy who knows his stuff. Full disclosure, I did get to read a copy of this book uh, before it came out this year. Um, he actually sent a preview copy for me to look at so I could write a blurb for it. So because I got to read this um, last year, I actually have already had an opportunity to work through some of the exercises that he has in this book. But I'm putting the cart before the horse, so let's just get into the book. All right, when you crack this baby open, first of all, this is, it's kind of nice just to see the aesthetics of a book. I mean, the first thing you do when you open it is you've got that. When I read the manuscript, I thought, this is a gorgeous book because the writing is fantastic. But now that I've got the physical copy in my hands, I'm like, ooh, this is great. But even without how beautiful it is on the outside, it's what's inside that counts, right? It's what's in the sandwich, it's what's in the meat. And what's in the meat of this book is life-changing. Seriously, this is a game-changing book uh, for a lot of reasons. First of all, there's a wonderful foreword by Devin Hunter, who you should definitely also check out. Uh, Matt gets into uh, basically explaining that uh, our ability as witches and our abilities to gain psychic knowledge. It's something that we all can own. And even if we don't really know how to begin, he has all the information in here to start you on your path and basically bring you from a beginning point all the way through that journey with the exercises and the information that he presents in this book. He talks a lot in here about uh, brainwave states, about uh, neuroplasticity, about the fact that we have the ability to teach our mind to do anything that we want it to do. He also brings up a lot of comparisons between psychic ability and witchcraft ability. And he shows you in this book how those two things combine, which I think is really cool. I'll be honest, when I read the rough manuscript for this book, um, I didn't really think of myself as being a psychic, much less a psychic witch. Even though I do tarot readings, even though I do use my intuition a lot, I didn't feel like I had the, the right, you know, basically to use the, the term psychic because I guess I didn't feel like those powers were developed enough within me. Um, but after working through some of his exercises, and honestly, as after just reading the book, I started to feel more confident in myself and my abilities in that area. And he, through his writing, showed me the ways in which the work that I do is psychic. And it's really kind of cool when you have that like aha moment when you're reading a book and you realize something new about yourself. 
that you didn't know before. And that's what a good author does. They teach you something about yourself. His style of writing is really approachable. It's really easy to understand. When he goes through the book and he explains uh, things like the biological functionality of your brain and how it relates to witchcraft and all of these different things, he explains it in a way that is clear and concise and easy to understand. So, you know, it doesn't really matter if you're a brand new witch and you're just starting your path and you're looking for some guidance in the area of witchcraft, psychic abilities, or both, and both, um, this is a great book to pick up. And when he starts you on your journey of the psychic witch, he teaches you step by step how to get there. He's not gonna have you jumping in to the lake. He teaches you how to dip your toe in just to get started. And then basically one lesson builds upon the next lesson, which is exactly the way that you should teach anything, especially witchcraft related, I feel like. Um, because if you have a good foundation, then you have something to build upon. And he's very carefully crafted this book in such a way that each lesson builds upon the last. You end up finding that you have strengths that you didn't know that you had. I also recommend this book for people who are experienced in the craft. Um, when I got my hands on this book, even though I've been doing this for a really long time, I learned a lot. So whether you're a brand new witch or whether you're an experienced seasoned witch, I think you're gonna find things in this book that you didn't know about. Um, I think you're gonna find lessons that are going to improve your witchcraft. I think you're gonna find lessons that are going to improve your uh, ability to use your intuition, um, to really understand what's happening with the energies around you, and to apply them to your life in ways that really make sense and help you to grow, not just as a witch, uh, not just as someone who uses their psychic abilities, but as a human being as well. One of the foundational teachings that Matt really gets into in this book is the importance of utilizing meditation as a skill to develop your mental powers of concentration and your abilities to sense things beyond what you can see in the everyday world. And I feel like that's really important. Meditation is something that I do a lot. Uh, there's a lot of people who, the minute they hear that they're, uh, you know, that they're expected to meditate, they kind of, uh, because they think it's hard, because they think it's a challenge. Well, I'm here to tell you, there's nothing in life that's worthwhile that isn't a little bit of a challenge. But the truth is he starts you off on baby steps and teaches you that yes, you can meditate. Even if you think you can't, he's got, he's got the tips and the tricks to teach you how to do those things. He's got things along the way that make it all apply to your witchcraft. He talks about dream work. He talks about uh, specific kinds of breathing that you can use to help enhance what you're trying to do. He talks about the different brainwave state and the science behind them. This book is extremely well researched solid as far as what you're going to be learning. It's smart. And Matt teaches with a um, understanding, friendly, and compassionate voice that I think that most readers would definitely respond to when you're trying to learn something new. He talks about the different kinds of psychic abilities as well. Um, Claire Audion, when, when you hear, literally hear a voice in your head, some people when they're picking up psychic uh, messages will actually just smell things. Like you've heard of people, they smell the smell of the scent of roses or the scent of tobacco in the air. People who close their eyes and feel, they can almost feel with their hands something, uh, pick up psychic messages in that way. And even clairsentience, which is just that knowing that you have. Um, so he teaches you all of these different kinds of abilities. So, you know, just because you might not see a psychic picture in your head, a vision per se, doesn't mean that you're not tapped in. You might just be tapped in in different ways. And Matt also has all the uh, information to help you learn how to figure out what kind of abilities you already have and how to enhance those while also learning how to 
discover and explore other abilities that you might not know you have. So you guys know I'm an illustrator, so I have to mention Tim Foley's beautiful art throughout this book. Look at that. I mean, that's beautiful. Uh, some of the uh, art in here is of the art department up there at Llewellyn, and they do a fantastic job um, of putting a book together. Uh, but I just love his stuff that he has in here. So pretty. So it's really just, it's gorgeous to look at. It's welcoming, it's inviting, and it's super, super informative. I promise you guys, if you pick up a copy of this, you won't be disappointed. And like I said, I had the opportunity to read this book already um, last year. I worked through some of the exercises and it really did help me to, to perceive things that were outside of normal perception to explore those things a lot more. I feel like I'm more open, uh, as, my, as my wonderful brother says, my windows open a lot more after having read this book. And now that I have the physical copy, I feel like I want to reread it. I really want to start again from the beginning and pour through the whole thing again because it was such a game changer for me the first time that I read it. I've had some other things happen in my life uh, things shake loose that I wasn't expecting. Now I feel like I want to go through it yet again and see what else I pick up. So whether you're a psychic, whether you're a witch, whether you're a little bit of both, or whether you're just learning and exploring and trying to figure out who you are and what capabilities you do have, this book will put you on a good path to figuring all of that out. I mean, seriously, you guys just won't believe how many exercises there are in this book. It's, it's practically like a textbook for us, you know, but I mean in a really good way. Seriously, these are the exercises. There's all of those, all of those, and then all of these over here. You don't just read this book. You read this book and you work your way through it. And when you come out the other end, you will have discovered so many more things about yourself, so many more things about your abilities, so many more things about the human mind and what it's capable of. I really think you guys are gonna love this. I love this book, it's a great book. I know you guys want a quick peek inside, so here you go. For those of you guys who wish you had more time to read and you feel like you just don't get enough time to read, you're like, oh, I'd love another book, but I just don't have time. Um, guess what? It's also on Audible. And you can see my smeary, smeary case. The cover is similar to this one, um, but I mean, I just have to brag just a little bit because I was super honored um, that this is actually my art on the Audible one. Uh, my son did the design for him, so that was kind of a cool, that was kind of a cool little thing. Anyway, that's my little review of the book Psychic Witch by Matt Oren. I um, highly recommend it. I think it's, I think it's one of the many exciting books that's coming out this year. And again, an author who you could literally find online and ask a question of because he's a real thing human being running around in the world doing all of the things that he writes about in the book. So, you know, if you're reading the book and you um, say you have a question or something, he's a real person that you can reach out to. Uh, and that's kind of important because it's a covenant that we have that we have between the reader and the author is um, that you 
that you get the chops to back up what you're talking about and he definitely does. I love books and I have a lot of cool books here uh, in the studio um, that I would love to share with you guys. There's also a bunch of new books coming out, a lot of books by some of the newer authors that I'm actually really excited about. And I wanna be able to let you guys know about those books too. So I will probably be bringing you these little Witch's Studio Book Nook uh, reviews at least once a month. I'll try to bring a new book to you guys. If you enjoyed this review and you would like to see more and you would like some more witchy tips and tricks, stuff like that, hit the subscribe button down there because I bring you new videos once a week. Here are some more videos that I think you guys might enjoy. Definitely check them out. And remember as always, to be your magic. Bye.